Hey guys, what's up? Jonas here, and today I'm gonna show you how to draw a heart using mathematical functions on Excel. So basically, the, the heart is drawn by two functions that we're gonna call y1 and y2. And um, we're gonna start off by defining the coordinates on each of and every point. So the x range from minus 1 to 1 with a step of 0 0.1, meaning that you type in in the first cell minus 1. And then in the second one, minus 0 0.9, you select both of them, and from the bottom right corner, you drag until you get 1. Then we're gonna define the first function. So you hit equal, and then you're gonna open parentheses. You're gonna select the cell A2, which contains minus 1. You're gonna put exponent, which is shift 6 in Windows, and then press 2, close the parentheses, and then put an exponent and then put one third and why we do that is because there's no cubic root in excel so exponent uh, one third is equal to cubic root so it's the same thing and then you you type in minus and then you type in square sqrt which stands for square root and then you open parentheses one minus the cell a2 and then exponent two and then you close the parentheses and uh, you hit enter and when you do that you will get the first value it should be 1 if it's not you made something wrong review your formula and then from here you're gonna drag it down then we have to write the second function which is y2 which instead of the minus after the cubic root becomes a plus so you're gonna go ahead in the cell Press copy to copy the formula so you don't have to write it again. I'm gonna write here y y2 so this one becomes y1 and then I'm gonna hit paste and you're gonna get one. You go to the formula bar and instead of minus you put plus, then you hit enter and you should get one as well. Now you're gonna drag it to the, to the bottom so you're gonna have a list of numbers make sure that those are the numbers that you have from here select them and then go to insert choose scatter and then you can choose whether you want only points or points with curves and lines so we're gonna choose this one now we're gonna say that the shape of the heart is not good it's not very good and i agree so all i have to do is make it a bit smaller and then you make it smaller from the size and there you go, you got a nice heart and yeah, you can add some design like you wish and here you go, you have a glowing heart. Now you can adjust the design more and more but it's all up to you. So if you enjoyed this quick trick, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to show me you wanna see more. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!